Hi, I've got like a 70s Howard Roberts, Gibson Howard Roberts here. And it came to me without the pick guard. And the pick guard had gassed off and deteriorated. And uh, so um, I had to get a new pick guard and uh, a new uh, pick guard bracket. And now I'm going to drill the hole to mount it. Um, so it's a, kind of a tricky thing, but it's not impossible. I ordered it without the holes drilled because you never know when they're pre-drilling these holes if it's all going to match up. So here's what I like to do on something like this. Uh, now I've already drilled this hole here. And you've, I've kind of beveled it a little bit, countersunk it, I should say, into here. Um, but uh, we decided to do this after I already drilled this hole. So it's kind of tricky finding that hole. Okay, but once you got that one, let me show you what I'd like to do for the back one. Now I've, I mount the, the guard up there already. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this handy dandy little device here. I've kind of marked the edges of the bracket just so I just a little double check but now what I'm this is an engraver little little engraver we can work on your teeth if you want to and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to position this right here and just make a mark oops <laughs> that's something you don't want your you you hear your dentist say oops and all I'm going to do is just make a little mark right here as a pilot hole. So now I'm going to take off the bracket. By the way, always get yourself a magnetic something to put your screws on because boy, they get lost. Um, so now I'm going to drill this hole right here, right there for this screw. Here's the it's kind of a if you know you match up the the screw with the drill it's just a little bit bigger which is fine Get on there. Whoops. Okay, there's that screw hole. Now, if you notice, this put this screw in. This the head of the screw is is up too high. So now we need to countersink that. So we're going to take. A larger screw, uh, drill bit, and it's actually a tiny bit larger than the head of that, just to make sure it goes in there well. So we're going to leave a little bit of tolerance, and we're going to take this down. This is a set five-layer pick guard. Let's see what we can do. Here. So I'm going to go until I. Start seeing a little bit of whoops, come on. Yeah. Boy, that wasn't very slick. Okay, there we go. That could have been done with a lot more finesse. That particular drill bit is biting too hard. Plus, I still have the plastic on this. So let's try this out. There, it's countersunk in there. So you see it's, it's in there. All right, so now we're all set. I guess we could take the tape off of here now. Or the film.
Um, I have this. I like to use this to support the screw. Um, so I'm going to try to find the, the height that I want here, which I think is going to be right about there. So I'm going to take a look at this end and try to get an idea of where that should go. I'm going to say right about there. What is that? Just plastic tubing? Yeah, just plastic tubing. Okay, so this goes. So how much did you cut? Oh, just a little, maybe a half inch at the most. Did that just fall on the ground? Yeah, it's right there. Right here. Yeah. I might have made this a little too high. We'll check it out. Yeah, it is a little too high. Shave a little bit off this. So you can tell I've got a Mexican blanket on my bench. Underneath it is carpet. And I do that just because on the bench then, after a while, after spilling a bunch of junk on it and stuff, I can take it off and wash it and put it back on. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Now, oops, before I put this on, let's gotta take this off again. I gotta hook this on. What did I do? As you can see, this particular guitar has had a couple different pick guards on it, looks like, because of the. Look, I've got this extra hole there for the other kind of mount. Uh, so, gosh. Well, let me take this off again here. I guess you can void out that whole section. We gotta Okay, I'm just gonna tighten that up just a little bit.
let's get that even with the strings. That should look like right about there. Sometimes you, you can put a lock washer on these. That helps. Okay, that's it. There it is. Let's get rid of this little mark. Little nail polish remover ought to do it. Voila, we're good to go. Oops. I think that's pretty good looking pit guard. It's cut real nice. Could have been tighter here, but again, all these are a little different, you know, so you really don't know exactly how that's going to match up. So there's a little bit of tolerance there, but that's okay. It looks fine. And the pick guard serves its purpose. So, there it is. We're going to clean this whole guitar up and go shoot a video on it. Talk to you later. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.